Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Nightingale. Here we are discussing about most important and previously asked questions and answers in Oncology. Before that, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. You can see the questions and answers one by one. And the first question, reversible increase in the number of cells of a certain tissue type resulting in increased tissue mass is called. And the options are hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia and dysplasia. Reversible increase in number of cells of a certain tissue type resulting in increased tissue mass is called. And the answer is hyperplasia. The next question, costive organism of CA cervix. The options are HIV, HPV, RSV, HCV. The costive organism of CA cervix. And the answer is HPV. HPV means human papilloma virus. And the next question, benign tumor arising from glands are known as. The options are papilloma, adenoma, lymphangioma and chondroma. Benign tumor arising from glands are known as. And the answer is adenoma. And the next question, routine screening to rule out CA cervix is, the options are AFB, pap smear, colposcopy and BSC. Routine screening to rule out CA cervix is. And the answer is pap smear. The pap smear means collecting cells from the cervix. The best time to schedule pap smear is 5 days after menstruation. The next question, specific tumor marker for multiple myeloma. The options are CA125, beta HCG, BJP and PSA. Specific tumor marker for multiple myeloma. And the answer is BJP. BJP means Benz Jones protein. The Benz Jones protein is tumor marker for multiple myeloma. And CA125 is tumor marker for CA ovary. And PSA for CA prostate and beta, beta HCG for testicular cancer. We can see other tumor markers also. And in the case of CA pancreas, CA99, colorectal carcinoma, CEA, thyroid cancer, thyroglobulin, hepatocellular carcinoma, AFP and non-Hodgkin lymphoma, CD20. The next question, lifestyle risk factor for CA stomach is and the options are smoking, roughage diet, smoked foods and spicy foods. Lifestyle risk factor for CA stomach is and the answer is smoked foods. Next question, common infectious disease that leads to hepatocellular carcinoma. The options are HBSAG. HCV, HIV and syphilis. Common infectious disease that leads to hepatocellular carcinoma. And the answer is HBSAG. The next question, classic feature seen in acoustic neuroma is. The options are headache, swallowing difficulty, bleeding and deafness. Classic feature seen in acoustic neuroma is. And the answer is deafness. The acoustic neuroma is a non-cancerous tumor on the main nerve leading from the inner ear to brain. So the classical feature seen in acoustic neuroma is deafness. The next question, early sign of CA colon. The options are bleeding, sudden diarrhea, sudden constipation and anorexia. The early sign of CA colon. And the answer is Sudden constipation. The next question. Most common feature of CA bladder is. The options are painful micturation, painless micturation, painless hematuria, painful hematuria. The most common feature of CA bladder is. And the answer is painless hematuria. 
Next question. Common risk factor for CA penis. And the options are injuries, infections, uncircumcised foreskin and sexual habits. Common risk factor for CA penis. And the answer is uncircumcised foreskin. And the next question. Hydatidiform mold occur in. The options are amnion, uterus, fallopian tube and chorionic villi. Hydatidiform mold occur in. And the answer is chorionic villi. The next question, chromosomal abnormality commonly associated with leukemia. The options are Turner syndrome, Down syndrome, Patio syndrome, none of the above. The chromosomal abnormality commonly associated with leukemia. And the answer is Down syndrome. And the next question, the caution feature seen in CA lungs. The options are Hemoptysis, chest pain, persistent cough and dyspnea. The caution feature seen in CA lungs. And the answer is persistent cough. And the next question, the development of lung cancer associated with which of the following environmental agent? The options are wood dust, secondhand smoke, UV radiation and phenoxy herbicides. The development of lung cancer associated with which of the following environmental agent? And the answer is second hand smoke. The next question. Malignant proliferation of plasma cells within a bone is termed as. The options are leukemia, multiple myeloma, pancytosis and lymphoma. The malignant proliferation of plasma cells within a bone is termed as the answer is multiple myeloma. The next question, what is the clinical indicator of bone metastasis? And the options are hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hypercalcemia and hypokalemia. What is the clinical indicator of bone metastasis? And the answer is hypercalcemia. In the case of bone metastasis, imbalance between the bone formation and bone resorption occur that resulting in release of excess calcium into the blood that causes hypercalcemia. The next question, dietary risk factor for CA esophagus. The options are dry fruits, lean meat, very hot liquids and fruit juices. Dietary risk factor for CA esophagus. And the answer is very hot liquids. The next question, most effective approach to treat benign tumor is? The options are surgery, radiation, chemotherapy and none of the above. Most effective approach to treat benign tumor. And the answer is surgery. And the next question, Reed Sternberg cells is classical feature of the options are malignant melanoma, multiple myeloma, hot skin lymphoma and non-hot skin lymphoma. The Reed Sternberg cells is classical feature of and the answer is hot skin lymphoma. The next question which of the following is a alkylating agent? The options are cisplatin, bleomycin, methotrexate and etoposide. Which of the following is a alkylating agent? And the answer is cisplatin. And the next question, what is the synergistic drug administered along with methotrexate to prevent toxicity? The options are folinic acid agent. Anti citrovorum factor, leucovorin, and cyclophosphamide. What is the synergistic drug administered along with methotrexate to prevent toxicity? And the answer is folinic acid agents. 
the next question what is the common toxicity observed for a patient taking vinga alkaloids the options are nephrotoxicity hepatotoxicity cardiotoxicity and neurotoxicity what is the common toxicity observed for a patient taking vinga alkaloids answer is neurotoxicity and the next question what is the common toxicity associated with the doxorubicin the options are nephrotoxicity hepatotoxicity cardiotoxicity and neurotoxicity what is the common toxicity associated with the doxorubicin and the answer is cardiotoxicity the next question which is the following is very vigilant to observe for a patient taking cisplatin the options are hyperkalemia hypercalcemia hypermagnesemia and tinnitus which is the following is very vigilant to observe for a patient taking cisplatin the answer is tinnitus the cisplatin is a platinum based drug this type of drug causes damage to the inner ear the first sign of inner ear damage is tinnitus so very vigilant to observe tinnitus for a patient taking cisplatin then we can see the common site of metastasis in cancer first one is ca breast ca breast primary metastasis site is musculoskeletal and secondary is lungs and ca lungs is brain and colorectal cancer is liver brain tumor is cns ca prostate is bones and testicular cancer is lungs thank you friends thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos please like and share this video thank you